My name is Merdula Shan, and for the COVID-19 Global Hackathon, I created an application that allows users to calculate the mutation rates of COVID-19 over time and in various locations using the Python programming language. Mutations are alterations in the nucleotide sequence of the genome of an organism, such as a virus, and are important to understand in learning how the disease spreads from different populations and across different species. Using 11 sequence genomes of the coronavirus provided by the National Center for Biotechnology Information in different locations over the last three months, the application works by first comparing each base of two of the genomic sequences, iterating through the 29,000 plus base sequences until one of the bases at a specific location are found to be different. The program then saves that position into an array, which grows larger as more bases are compared to one another and are found to not be the same. Once the program is iterated through the entire sequence for both genomic strands, the program then calculates the mutation rate by dividing the length of the array, which represents the total number of mutations, with the total length of the largest genomic sequence, or twice the amount of one of the sequences if they are of equal length. The following tables showcase the mutation rates calculated by the program for every combination of the 11 genomic sequences, with each sequence taken from a specific location around the world and on different dates. Such rates allow scientists and researchers working to learn more about the virus to understand how it's developing over time and how related two strands of the virus are to one another. However, such variation does not take into account whether or not these mutations are synonymous. That is, whether these mutations actually code for a change in the genetic expression of the virus, resulting in a change in its protein sequence, and if it's an advantage to its survival. Therefore, a future expansion of this project would include allowing for a calculation of the DNDS ratios from these mutations. A comparison of these values to one tells us whether or not there are more synonymous or non-synonymous mutations, and what type of evolution, either neutral, positive, or negative, has occurred in comparison to its ancestor. With such information, researchers would be able to predict how how often the virus is going to mutate over time and advise against or for precautions such as social distancing in order to limit the spread of the virus and prevent it from gaining a new mutation that could allow it to survive longer. In addition, this may pave a way for a global vaccination to target the different strains of the virus.